everyone. We are here at Day of Days with Stacey Iduke and Eric Martsoff, and I'm Tammy Gavea. Hey! Hi! What is up? I don't know. A lot. <laughs> A ton. What do you want to talk about first? I mean, start with this time jump. You want to talk about that? That's how I reacted. Yeah. Friday's yeah. episode was every time they showed the, the hourglass. Like you knew, which it, it was, was cool, just like this right? heavy dread in my heart. A year, like what? <laughs> and weren't we kissing? We were kissing yes, yesterday. Yes, he grabbed me. Oh, actually, the way quietly, you grabbed oh her God. in the chapel. I was like, I'm yeah, you're right, real. sinful, you're right? Real. Totally. Yeah. If you're gonna make out with Kristen Demera, it's gotta be in a sinful place. Right? We've, we've been, we've you been can't go waiting. Go to the Olive Garden and make out with Kristen. Go I, went, I wouldn't even step foot in there. <laughs> I remember what you did to my brother, by the way, but that's a whole other thing. You know what? It, it was somebody else. You want to call Eileen and blame her for that? Yes. No, uh, you can't. Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah, he does. Eileen, I blame you. That wasn't I, me. I, that was the other one. No, it was the other one. You're I, her. I am her, and I'm trying to, you know, be sweet now. So. I got to deal with everything Kyle did. <laughs> Let me it's a recast problem. We can talk about it later. Here's the beauty. Okay. You guys work together as if you've been working together for 25 years. So was it like that immediately, or did you have to get to know each other? Oh, no. It was instant. <laughs> we, it it kind of was. We, we met each other that day. I had never met Stacy before. She came to my, down to my dressing room to run lines. She immediately takes her shoes off. I think she took, your, she took something else off. <laughs> And gets into this yoga pose in the middle of my dressing room with her legs like up in the air and she starts running lines with me. I said me. this is how we're going to run lines because I have to get into my body. I can't. I was like this just... woman has a great sense of comfortability with me. So I in sense returned it. <laughs> you got, got into a downward dog, dog or? A uh, warrior actually. <laughs> Warrior, yeah, with an extended forward swan dive. But, it was um, beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. She, uh, she's very easy to. Uh, she, she. There's no pretense about Stacy Haidu. She is who she is, and that you don't have to guess. So as an actor, everything is just present. She's just there. I am. Just you don't there. have to guess with her. And so it's a beautiful thing. You know thing. when I'm mad, I'm really mad. <laughs> yeah, she has no poker face whatsoever. <laughs> But she's also that interesting thing of, she's she's beautiful, but she she's got those eyes that are, it's got some mischief behind them and some. And there's not though. That's what's so. Do you see how she said that? What are you talking about? I know, but I, I always feel that way, and I, I it's like, come on. Well, these eyes. I hate to tell you this, but yeah, see, look at that. Closing on. <laughs> this is this is my soft look. <laughs> I can't even do The question it. is, and will you be able to be redeemed within this time warp? God, I hope so. It's not like you're a serial so. killer or anything. I'm not. I mean, I haven't even done half the horrible things that everybody else does. Have you? You haven't killed anybody, have you? No. That's been her only redeeming issue. I mean, she's been able to come to Brady and say, but at the end of the day, I'm I'm not guilty here. I'm not. She's right. She's right. You're it's right. It's true. It's true. That's your calling card. It is. I haven't been that bad, Brady. And I tell you that every time you tell me I've been bad. And I'm no saint. I know you're not. I, be I buried <laughs> Vivian years ago in a sarcophagus. <laughs> got drunk and laughed at her. You know what? You're just as yeah. bad. I'm terrible. <laughs> you just turned into but a But don't we love an under dog story and these little daytime dramas that we love so much that's the beautiful thing about the pairing of, of Kristen and Brady is part of it says what are you doing Brady what are you doing what are you thinking and at the same time you have given Kristen a continued heart like, there's always a vulnerability even when you're scheming and, 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 and doing your mess so we love seeing that and again I want to go back to that kiss because I think it's a moment that fans have been waiting for for a really long time, so the expectations are really high. And you nailed did it. Did we get it? You did. And you know what I appreciate it? And this is from an actor point of view. Okay. You go to leave. And you know how sometimes actors, as they're walking out, they kind of stop because they're anticipating the other yes, yes. actor stopping yep. them? You were like full on, and you. Oh no, he did. That moment was brilliant. <laughs> it was. Grab and the then there was a pause, like, and I did, because I didn't know how far he was going to let me go. And then when he grabs me back, and then I look like a scared little puppy. I'm like, what? What are you going to do? Yes. <laughs> are you going to hit me? Are you going to kiss me? Are you going to kiss me? Are you going to make love to me? Are you going to kidnap me? <laughs> it was. Doesn't All matter, as long as it's one. passionate. <laughs> yeah. 
Hate turns into love so quickly on our program. But we love that. I think that's what's nice about But you it. knew, I think everyone knew that Brady was going to give in from, I mean, come on. There was no question. You had me the whole time. I knew that. You didn't. <laughs> Yeah, it did. No, you, you know, didn't. It's, that's another point. Is Kristen's I knew always... it was you wearing the mask, by the way. <laughs> yeah, right. So I was just want to throw you, that in. We all think I that. I know. I know. Yeah. So that I'm, no, that I'm pregnant, it's okay. Or Kristen's pregnant. I just said yeah. I'm pregnant. Maybe you're wearing a prosthetic <laughs> It's hard. We're right now, it's like, I'm, we're going in and out of character right now. So I'm like, oh, no, where are we? <laughs> I'm so happy you're pregnant. I wonder what's going to happen with the baby. I... I, I <laughs> hmm. What were your thoughts when you guys read about this whole time jump? Because it's never been done my, before. My, my first thought was like, this guy Ron with the pen right now. <laughs> he's not afraid of anything. No. Nope. He's not afraid to do anything. I feel like he says, all right, what would fans freak out about? What would they be like, what? I'm going to write that. Let's also do something that's never been done before. Let's break boundaries. Let's go. I mean, we've been, oh, we've been right. doing that lately. This conservative show, Days of Our Lives, we had the first gay wedding on television, right? And on soap opera. We have the first time jump, you know. We're, we're doing things that are different and out there. Yeah. And it's tough in this, you know, if it ain't broken, don't fix it kind of genre that soaps sometimes get caged into. We're taking some risks, and I think that's I think cool. Risks are good. And I invite them, you know. I think it's fun. Does it make you better actors? Taking risks or just having the, the writing allow that? That's a, that, that's a good question. That's a, that's a good question. I'm like, you, you can get... Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, it's your turn. <laughs> no, I've been talking too much. <laughs> no, after you. No, no, I insist after you. I, I, Could you possibly be a better actor? Could hmm. there be any circumstances? That I don't know, but, but what I can tell, tell you this is that jumping back and forth from a future to a, 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 a past, back and forth, back and forth, you have to be on your toes. It's confusing, <laughs> continuity-wise. And you have to go, um, was I, I didn't have this nail polish on? Oh, shoot. Okay, now we have to take it off and put the other one back on and, and an hour? Okay. So it's like, you know, just constantly, you know. Mental workout. Mental workout. I think the speed of soaps in general right now have tuned us all up as actors. Especially when we go off and do like a procedural or a, or a guest spot on another show, it's like it must be easy breezy. Like, you're gonna give me 12 hours to do four pages. I know. So we are all just oiled up like the Tin Man and just ready to act in any kind of circumstance whatsoever. Yeah, did I just exciting. do a Tin Man metaphor? You did. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> we all get it. We all get it. <laughs> what am I talking about? But you understood what I was saying. Yeah. I want to wish you a happy 54 years, being part of a community that's 54 years old. That's one of the things I love about soaps is there's nothing like them. No. There's nothing like And the community that they create is really rare and really special. So thank you for your contributions and your passion and your commitment because it matters and, it, and the fans love it. Well, thank well, you. Well, the work that you guys do, yeah. especially with your show, you're also the glue that keeps the community talking. Yeah. And keeps it significant and, and keeps you guys it are so fabulous i watch your show i think more i think i think people should if, if yeah. they're into days of our lives and, and congratulations on your new show that you and chelsea have. <gasps> soap news weekly yes every thursday yeah check it out yes. every thursday watch them but it's yeah. obvious that you guys Appreciate care that. about our genre and our show and i thank you for that thank you. personally absolutely thank you love thank you oh my god what? <laughs>